Today, they were marching across a windy airfield in Suffolk. Next week, they'll be marching into position at Windsor Castle. And it's something they want to get right. It was three regiments Army Air Corps Prince Harry served with on his second tour of Afghanistan. And he's asked these 25 men and women to line the street at his wedding to Meghan Markle. Show them! One of them is Staff Sergeant North, who was barking at his troops today. He worked alongside Harry when he was learning how to fly these Apache helicopters in combat. I was lucky enough to serve with his Royal Highness. And he's a fantastic individual who works hard. Um, and it'll be an honour and a privilege to be there on his wedding day. There are those who say the Royals get special treatment in the military, or that they don't do the job for real. It wasn't done in the wrong way, but it was just... Well, it's hard to find anyone who'll say that about this 2012 tour when Harry flew Apaches on the front line. We would never put the people they're supporting on the ground at risk by putting somebody who is incompetent to do their job in the role. David Meyer was Harry's commanding officer. He's no longer in the military so can speak freely, but he remembers someone who had exactly what the Army Air Corps was looking for. You saw something in Harry that you thought would make him a very good Apache pilot. What I liked about him particularly was I just felt that he was intuitive. He would be prepared to make a decision with the, whatever information he had, even if it was incomplete information, he would make a decision and invariably it would be right. Uh, and that comes from the experience of being on the ground and you'd see others who would struggle to, to comprehend what was going on, but he was always ahead of the game in that respect. Back at Watersham Flying Station today, the instructor who was Harry's backseat pilot for his Afghanistan training will look at his former student on his wedding day with an element of pride. To see him leave the army now and use his influence, if you like, to help out with forces charities on mental and, dis and uh, physical disability, that's fantastic to see. And as for the wedding to Meghan Markle, well, Harry will no doubt take this in the spirit in which it was delivered. Well, he's punching way above his weight. You best, best hurry up and do it. Chris Ship News at 10, Suffolk.